Are you suffering from an acute injury, whether it's a sprain, strain, bursitis, tendonitis, something of that nature that requires to get rid of the inflammation? Stay tuned. We're going to show you how to use this therapeutic ultrasound so that you can do your treatments at home for a speedier recovery. Hi guys, let's take you through how to use this incredible device. So first of all, comes in a box. What comes in the box? Open it up, babe, let's have a look. We've got the actual ultrasound device. First thing I've got to tell you is, this is a therapeutic ultrasound, people. It's not one that's going to show you a picture of your baby. It is designed specifically to assist with soft tissue injuries, recovery of inflammation. So you've got your gel, which is really important to have either on the skin or on the head of the device, treatment head, so that you've got it between your skin and the device because it allows the sound waves to penetrate penetrate through to your actual joint area that needs to be resolved. This is the manual that has all the information that you need, but we thought we'd make it a little bit easier by letting you know how to get the most out of your device by us chin wagging to you right here, right now, so that you can have a look. Tells you all about the buttons, what they're for. We're also going to cover that now, but make sure that you keep that handy because there are a couple of things that we would recommend you not use the ultrasound device on. And of course, a bunch of things that it's really good for, which are all covered in that brochure. Now, your Underneath the very bottom, Em didn't show you that, but underneath the very bottom is the power cord to be able to connect the device. You need to connect that yourself, and then off we go. So let's plug it in, and we'll show you how to use it. Now, lots of different conditions. So whether it is tennis elbow, frozen shoulder, bursitis, knee issues, mm. sprained ankles, even if you've got a tear in your muscle, any type of inflammatory response, this little guy is your go-to. The thing I love about this... Brilliant is that you can use it on any of those conditions and it will speed up the recovery, but it also helps prevent you from needing to go and see other practitioners all the time. Please don't get me wrong, go and see your practitioner to get your joints realigned and that sort of thing. But if it's used in between those visits, you'll find that you will not need to go and see them as much. So it's gonna save you heaps of money. All right, so let's imagine now for a moment that M has got a an issue with her elbow. Let's say it's a, a tennis elbow type problem. First thing you need to do is you need to work out how many times your treatment head, this is to work out how much time you need to spend treating, how many times this treatment head will go into the area that you are going to treat. So tennis elbow, generally people have pain sort of in that area there. So we would go one, two, three times the treatment head would go into that area. Each time a treatment head is in there, we multiply it by two minutes. So that'd be two, four, six minutes in total that we would use, okay? Now, we need to use the ultrasound gel, as I mentioned before, super, super important. So here we go. You can pop that on there for me. Turn it on, of course. There is an on button. <laughs> the red light down the bottom highlights that the device is on. The two, uh, three buttons up above it, uh, determining, not, that's very good, <laughs> determining how much decorator. Sorry. <laughs> how much uh, input the device is going to have. So there's two major settings, a continuous setting or a pulse setting. For the not most of the conditions that I've just spoken about, the pulse setting is the most important one. So you need to use the up button to get it all the way to the top of the device and you'll find that it will flash on and off, indicating that that's what the device does. It sends sound waves, then it stops then it sends sound waves and then it stops. Really good way to encourage blood flow and then to reduce inflammation. Encourage blood flow, reduce inflammation. So the tennis elbow, bursitis, tendonitis, torn muscles, etc. the pulse setting is the most important. So we click the button three times to get to go all the way to the top. The other two, the continuous setting, there is a high and a low setting. So take a look in your device. A little bit less common the things that they would they would help with, but things like if you've got a chronic injury like a scar tissue, um, you would use the continuous setting there to help break down the scar tissue. They even talk about using this for wrinkles and sunspots and things like that. All of that is in the brochure to take a look at, but mainly what we're referring to at the moment is its therapeutic action. So tennis elbow is the issue here for M. We would always put on, this really ramps up the use. This device used on its own is going to be brilliant, but if you really want to power things up, we would use a product like ChiroFix first. It's a product that has anti-inflammatory component in it. So we rub it on the treatment area before we then go ahead and use the device on top. Now, keep in mind, trauma relief cream, same thing. You can use that as well. It's the same product and it does the same thing. The device will cause the sound waves and the, the active ingredients within ChiroFix or, or trauma relief cream to penetrate even deeper to give you a faster result, which is awesome. 
If you have a specific bone pain, so let's say you've got a heel spur, these devices are brilliant for things like that, then you would use your bone aid relief cream in the spot where the bone is sore, then the trauma relief cream over the top because these conditions always have inflammation associated with them, and then you would put either the gel on the area or on the treatment head like we've done and then use it over the top, okay? Really important. Don't forget the gel. It ramps up the healing capacity. But yes, don't forget the gel just because you got the cream on. You need the gel because it's sound conducting. It's a really important part of the process. Now, I've just realized I've got you wrapped up in your cord, so we're just going to whoop, rip this over. All right, so we're going all the way up to the pulse setting, which is flashing. You can hear it start to make a sound, which is always awesome. And then round and round you go. Always keep the device moving. It's really, really important, okay? If you're doing this sitting up, like Em is at the moment, I'd normally in clinical practice have her lying down, but we wouldn't be able to show you what we're doing. Um, it is important to make sure that you keep it moving. So you can do it in little circular actions like I'm doing now, or you can do it up and down like this. But make sure, particularly on a, a bony area that's up and down, not smooth like a, an elbow, Make sure you've got enough of the gel on there that the, that the head always remains in contact with the gel and then also your skin as well. So we just keep moving it. So that's up and up and down motion. In clinical practice, I normally use a circular motion. I find that really good. If you were to leave it steady and not move it around, there is a chance that you burn the skin. We don't want to do that. So make sure you're keeping the treatment area. And you get your timer set for six minutes because this is about three treatment heads and just continue to use the ultrasound until that your mobile phone or whatever goes off and then you wipe all the gel off. I usually then in clinical practice reapply the Chirofix so that it's on there for the rest of the day and Bob's your uncle. Now, everyone asks, how often do I use it? You would never really need to use it more than once a day, but you don't even need to use it that often. Honestly, the more often you do it for an acute injury, the faster your body will heal, but you really only need to use it three times a week for any of those acute injuries that we mentioned, like a sprain or strain. Something like a, a, a frozen shoulder, I'd be using it daily because that's a condition that really, really needs you to get in there and break up those adhesions. Now, with a condition like that, um, and that this is all in the brochure as well, you can use it alternating on a setting of the continuous, like we spoke about before, the two different settings, the continuous or the pulse. And then the next time you do it, you would do it on a pulse setting. So you can actually alternate between the two because the continuous setting is really good at being able to deeply heat the joint. Now, I know that sounds counterproductive to reducing inflammation. It's not. It's a very similar situation. You're wanting the actual joint itself to have increased blood flow, which is what this device also can do to help assist. But when it's on a pulse setting, it comes and it goes so it can reduce the inflammation that way. But when you've got a condition like that or something like arthritis, um, they arthritic joints really love that deep heating that this can give. Um, so you would use that on a continuous setting one time, and then the next time you use it, you would change it to the pulse setting to allow the healing to take place as well. Hopefully, we've made sense of it all. Like I said, it's all in the brochure, so have a read. Um, but that is how you get the most out of your device. Thanks for having us on your therapeutic journey. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you've enjoyed our video, please pop a like on there. We really appreciate that. And don't forget to let people know if you've got someone who you know who's got an injury like this, that this is here for them to check out as well. Take care. <laughs>